If you are looking for a smarter way to manage your accounting, payroll, or HR tasks, you are in the right place. Hey everybody and welcome back to our channel, your go-to place for tech tutorials made simple. In today's video, we are diving into Iris, the all-in-one business solution trusted by accountants, payroll professionals, and organizations across the UK and beyond. So we will walk you through how to get started with Iris, set up your company, manage employee data, and of course, generate reports. So whether you're a small business owner, an HR professional, or just exploring your software options, this guide will help you get comfortable with Iris. So let's begin. Now, the first thing that you need to do, visit the official website of Iris. On the top corner, you have the option to log into different softwares, but what you can do is go to the Iris elements and click the free trial option. You will be forwarded here. It's a very simple. All you have to do is provide all the information needed and click the sign up button. And then, once you have successfully created your account here in Iris, you will be forwarded to the main homepage. There's going to be like a welcome dialog box wherein if you want to provide a feedback, you can do so. Just simply follow the on-screen instructions and of course click the submit button but for now i'm gonna skip this and i want to directly go to the platform itself and as you may notice it offers a very clean and intuitive interface one of my client is already using iris and it's very easy to use i'm gonna show you how now you would easily notice that you have the account section so this is where you can manage your personal or admin account okay so it gives you all the profile information Kind of like where you can manage your user identity within the iris platform and obviously the dashboard is the main panel that provides all the access to the um, app usage statistics or recent activities application status and a lot more but since this is a newly created account we don't have yet anything in place but with this you have the quick access to links wherein you can assign applications manage apps update payment and methods and view recent invoices i'm gonna hover down below here where it says you can invite users all right let us type in the email for example in our case i'm gonna put in um, a legit email here so we can invite um a, an, another user for example if you are um working in a collaborative environment this is going to be like a deal to provide admin access and click the invite you also have the in, uh, option to invite multiple if you have that already all right now i'm gonna hover to the um, applications right here the applications is where you can install or manage software applications available in the irs ecosystem okay so now here you can access the app details configurations and integrations you can enable and disable features per app the thing is, if you go here in the marketplace, these are going to be some of the popular apps that you can um, add on to your Iris platform. We have the Iris Elements Tax, which offers a free trial, and also the Iris Elements Account Production, Iris Elements Practice Management, Iris Anti Money um, Laundering or AML, and Elements VAT Filer, Elements Proposal Manager elements company secretarial and elements company formation so these requires free trial but you need to cancel that before the subscription ends okay i'm gonna hover back again to my account so i'm just showing you that the applications section provides all that so you can enable or disable features per app okay so we have the um i have integrated the elements per tax and as you can see there's going to be um a free trial expires on the specific date all right and then once you have invited a specific user here, you can provide an access uh, permission like view and edit. And then the users is earlier, remember, we have added a specific user wherein you can manage all registered users in your organization. So I invited uh, one here, but it's not yet activated. But there's going to be like a gear icon wherein you can remove users and you have the ability to do so and authorize user activity and logs permission okay so that's very clear and straightforward the assign apps is kind of like an option for you to assign specific apps to individual users or groups 
You can customize which users have access to which tools, like this one right here. Okay, you can assign users to apps, assign apps to users. It can go either way around. And of course, you can apply role-based app controls, which is kind of um, crucial for access management and compliance. Obviously, the billing is related to your subscriptions and payments, all right? I'm going to click on this very quickly so that we can see the plan selection or upgrades that we have, okay? It also provides the invoices and the transaction history, Pay payment methods if you have that, so you can manage that to view usage to prevent over um, over ages okay you can add your credit or debit account with the payment methods and the bank account if you want it and then the company setting is one of the most crucial part of the iris because this is where you provide the admin level uh, admin level for your organization's um, overall setup okay so you can provide security policies like integration settings across the organization this controls how iris behaves across the entire company environment if you want to click the edit profile you can do so now let's go back again to the dashboard wherein we have the option to assign applications okay so with this you can proceed right here and of course you also have the option to manage your apps and update the payment methods and view the recent invoices together along with the um, iris and then there's going to be like the uh, section for your recent updates and if you wanted to invite multiple users you can put that here but if you also have the option to upload an email list for example if you wanted to add multiple users if you are in a collaborative environment it's a lot easier but you need to make sure that you um follow the does the instructions like um a single column plain text files less than 2 MB in size with one email per line and 50 lines and click the send invitations and with that being said and that's a wrap on our walkthrough of iris it is intuitive secure and designed to grow with their business from account management to building automation it brings both power and simplicity to the table and of course we have navigated to the dashboard, manage users and applications, assign apps, and tweak your company settings. So whether you're a business owner, IT admin, or just starting out, Iris makes it easy to streamline your operations in one centralized platform. Now, do not forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you won't miss out on more software guides just like this one. If you have any questions or want a tutorial on a specific iris feature, drop them in the comments below. Would love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you again in the next video.